to go to the sorry if I forgot to add it to to go to the the old spaghetti factory for lunch. We went on the carousel. After that, we got on the hover bike and went to the old spaghetti factory. We parked in front of the building and went inside. Wow, this place looks like an like an old castle," said Felicity. "It sure does, because this place opened in 1977. Wow, that sure was a long time before you were born. Yeah, it it was, I say. And they even have some in Nagoya, Kobe, Japan. Now let's find a table. We sat at a table on the trolley and told the waiter what we wanted to drink. We told her we wanted some cotton candy lemonade and she want, she went to get some. As soon as our lemonade was here, we told the waiter what we wanted to eat. I said that I wanted lasagna and the rest of the team wanted spaghetti. While, then while we were waiting for our food, we talked about what we were going to do next. So what do you want to do next after we eat? asked Goo. Well, we could go to St. Charles to visit my neighborhood. Then we can, then we can go visit my grandpa, my grandparents, and then we can, we can go to the antique mall to pick up ice cream. And then we can go to Carl's Jr. Green Burrito to pick up burritos. Then Yoko's to pick up some pizza. Then we can go to my papa's grave before we go to El Paso for dinner. Then Tedra's for ice cream. And then our last stop will be the arch. And then we'll be in time for the for the sleepover with the hobby kids. Sounds like a plan, said Goo. Just then, our food came and we began to eat our lunch. This stuff is so good, I say. That's good, said Goo. Do you like lasagna? Well, of course I do. I eat it every time my mom cooks it. As we finished eating, the wait waitress gave us, gave us Neapolitan ice cream that we put in our fridge for later. Then we got back in our hover bike and flew to through the green bridge and straight towards the new town neighborhood. This is where I live, I say. Now let me show you the park I go to. I drove them to the neighborhood park. Wow, you park is haunted. Your park is haunted, said Felicity. It sure is, I say. Now let's go to the other park. It has a pond full of fish. I drove them to the other park where they had statues of frogs and turtles. Next, we went to Grandma's cookies to, cookies to pick up some cookies. Me and Bello got sh sugar sprinkle and Goo and Flizzy got chocolate chip. Then we went to Yoko's to pick up some pizza and salad for the sleepover. After that, we went to the magic house and played with the imaginary stuff. I even wrote a funny poem on the poem tree. Went to pick up food at Carl's Jr. And got some Starbucks frappuccinos. Then we went to my papa's grave. I sat down on the grass and looked at the sky while everyone was watching. And then I said, Papa, if you're listening to this, it's me, Ayla. I have three new friends, Goo, Bello. Sorry for spelling new wrong. Goo, Felicity, and Bello. Who want to see you watch over them, especially me. I know I miss you since you died, 11 years ago. But I still get to see you every now and then when I come here. And talk about your yellow shirt with my family. And send balloons to heaven. And put flowers next to your tombstone. And I think, uh, and I'll think of some something to bring you back when I get older. So until we meet again on earth, bye for now. When I finished my speech, everyone began to tear up. I started to tear up as well. And then we all had a really good group cry. After that, I said, okay, I think we should pull ourselves together now, I suggest. I agree, said Goo, blowing her nose. Me too, said Goo, Felicity, wiping her eyes with her handkerchief. Her handkerchief. Me too, said Bello, sniffling. Okay, then, but before we go, let's put some flowers for my papa. Okay, said Goo, as she... Gave me Felicity and Bello some flowers to drop. Sorry if I spelled drop wrong. To drop them next to the tombstone. Then we said goodbye to my papa and went back on the hover bike and drove to my grandparents' house. Is this is, is this where you your grandparents lived? Asked Bello. Yes, it is. I say. We went inside and my grandma, 
greeted me and said, Why, hello, Ayla. Who are your new friends? I told her their names and... and sorry if I forgot to add a comma. And then I told them, This is Virginia and Mike. Hi, Virginia. Hi, Tucker. Said my grandpa. Then he replied back, Well, nice to meet you three. She said, Why don't we let Ayla show your... your you her own toys asked my grandpa oh yes sure we would love to said goo i went to my be old bedroom where me and my sister harlow used to sleep in this is where me and my sister's this is me and my sister's bedroom i told them wow so many toys felicity want me to show you a toy that me and my sister always talked about i asked I asked Goo. Sure, th sure, said, she said. Go ahead. I grabbed the farting dog's butt toy and turned on the switch. It started to howl at first, but then it barked six times and then let out the loudest fart in front of, of everyone. And they then they started laughing. Oh my gosh, that was so, that's so gross, said Goo. I agree, said Felicity. Want to see some more? I asked. Yes, said Goo. Then I showed her a hard rock guitar with black and yellow stripes. That's a cool guitar, said Goo. So do you put this around your neck? Yes, I, I say. Try it. She puts it around her neck and pretends to play music. Hey, that's cool. I look like a real guitar player, she said. Next, I show her a vintage Fisher Price and a Sesame Street dollhouse. Those were my cousin's toys when they were kids, I say. Wow, they must be very old when they played the, the Ds, said Bello. They sure were, I said. Then I showed her some bean necklaces. These ones are from Mardi Gras, I say. How cool is that, said Felicity. And these are play food. That looks delicious, but not delicious because they're not toy. They're not. They're not. To Sorry, for, for, said, I forgot to say. They're not food, said Goo. Next, I showed them toys from the baby Looney, from the baby Looney Tunes box, the baby Looney Tunes toy box, the closet, and even on the dresser. And then after that, I leaned, led them downstairs. This is our huge pool table, I said. Wow, that's a one, that's one giant pool table, said Goo. It sure is, I said. Next, I showed them their the red plug-in piano. I plugged it in and let my friends have a go. Hey, this is like a real piano, said Goo. It sure is a real one, I said. After we explored more downstairs, we went back upstairs to my to my animal themed mom and dad's room. After that, we um, after that we sorry for forgot to put a wind. We went out into the backyard and I showed them the garden where we when they where they had an el the elephant and the alligator statue. After we explored the backyard, we said goodbye to my grandparents and then we went back on the hover bike to my cousin's Chloe's house to see the new baby named Delilah. As we met the baby, we went on. After we meet the baby, we went on the our ho hover bike and went to the El Paseano restaurant on for dinner. A man named Hector helped us out. First, he asked me. Who were my friends' names? Then he asked me what we wanted to drink. So I said to him, so I said, so I said this to him, Cuatro aguas y cuatro limonadas, por favor, which means for waters and four, which means, sorry if I spelled four wrong, which is four waters and four lemonades in Spanish. Then he got us our drinks when he got us our drinks. He brought us chips, salsa, and queso, and he asked he asked us what we wanted to eat. A todos nos gustaría quesadillas de pollo, de pollo con arroz y frijoles, por favor, I say, which is Spanish for we would like all, all we would all like chicken quesadillas with rice and beans, please. Then Hector took our orders and went to get our food. A few minutes later, our food arrived, and the smell of Mexican food hit our noses. 
We all began to chow down on our food. When we were finished, Hector gave us Mexican sundaes with ice cream in a dessert tortilla bowl that we had to put in our portable fridge for later. Then we said adios to Hector and went on our hover bike to get Ted Drews. Sorry for spelled Drews wrong. For ice cream. When we all went up to the clerk and asked to ask what we wanted to order, I then asked for a strawberry shortcake ice cream. Goo asked for a chocolate ice cream. Felicity asked for a strawberry ice cream, and Bello asked for a banana split ice cream. We all got our ice creams, and and sorry for, for sorry for forgot to put begin and begin stuffing our mouth with with it until our stomachs were peeking out. That was so yummy," said Felicity. "It sure was," I say. Now, who wants to go to the arch before we go back to the HQ for the sleepover? Me! Scoo Felicity and Bello shouted. Okay then, let's get on the hover bike and let's go. Chapter three. Last stop, the Gateway Arch. We all got onto the hover bike and flew to the Gateway Arch. When we got there, we went. We got our tickets. Walked through the museum. And learned about the all about the history of Saint Louis. Before we, sorry, if, sorry if, if I forgot to put, uh, the word went. Before we went downstairs to the tram car four because all of us were four. When we got to the tram car four, there was a video of Saint Louis and France. Then once the door showed, the do's and don'ts. The doors opened and we all got into our seats. Then once the speaker said, "Please keep cleared of the door. The tram door is now closing. Enjoy your trip to the top." We start to go up the arch. Hey, I can see myself going up the stairs," said Felicity. "Well, not exactly," I say. "It's actually like an elevator." As soon as we made it to the top, we took a look at the amazing view. From the Missouri East Side, see, look at the tall buildings," said Goo. "I can see them." I say, "So this is where we entered in the Arch Complex, right there. And there's the St. Louis Cardinals Bush Stadium. There's the Kinnear Plaza, where the skating rink is. There's the, there's the, there's the dome. Sorry for I added the word extra there. There's the Dome America Center." The Enterprises and Union Station. The Enterprise. Sorry for my repeat. That's phrase two. The uh, and right over here is the Il Illinois side. Down from down here is the riverfront. St. Louis riverfront. Front. There's the Gateway Riverboat, and then I show them more s stuff. When we went back downstairs to take a picture of us standing next to the arch before we went back to the sleepover. Okay, then. Okay, that I. Okay, that I. Sh okay, that should probably fit us in for this picture. I say. I counted to three, and then we smiled and took a picture. Then Goose looked at her watch and said, "Oh dear, it's almost time for the sleepover." But wait, I shouted. Can Bella and I do one more thing in front of the arch before we get going? I asked. Sure. What is it? She asked. You might as well want to stand back. Okay, she said. Then Bella and I grabbed both hands and then we kissed in front of the arch. Wow, that was so beautiful, said Goo. Now let's get going before the sleepover starts. Okay, we both said. So we all hopped onto the hover bike and flew. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry for I added the word flute bike, and flew back to the HQ. When we went inside, Gumby, the hobby kids, and everyone else was waiting for us. With sleeping, sorry, for, I forgot to put the word bags. With sleeping bags. Well, Ayla, welcome back. So, did you have fun in St. Louis with your friends? He asked. I sure did. I say. Plus, we also got some switch to save for later. 
Oh, you did? asked Gumby. Let me see. He opens up the fridge. Wow, that's a lot of sweets. He says, Well, Ayla, you're just in time because I already have the sleeping bags on the ground for everyone and you can share what... Sorry if I forgot to put the word what. Can share what you did and word there. Did there while you were on your adventure with your friends tonight. While we sat while we sit down drinking hot chocolate and eating pizza and a nice slice of healthy cherry pie for dessert. How does that sound? That sounds awesome, I say. Okay then, why don't you join the rest of the, your friends while I get the food ready? I said, he, um, he said, I'll be right back. Okay, I said. Chapter 4, The Sleepover a few minutes later, we were all sitting down, eating our pizza and cherry pie and drinking our hot chocolate. Okay, everyone, our friend Ayla is going to share her adventure in St. Louis that she just went to today, said Gumby. So, Gum so, so Ayla, what did you do in St. Louis? Then I then told them my story. When my story was finished, every... Sorry for I spelled everyone wrong. Everyone clapped. That was great, Ayla. Yeah, I really liked the part when you and T and Bello kissed in front of the arch, said Tibby. What? Why, thank you, I blushed. Hey, Gumby, can Hobby Bear and I, and I sleep with each other tonight? I asked. Well, of course, he said, since you're a very protective big sister to him. Yay, me and Hobby Bear both said. After we played the games and brushed our teeth, we all got into our sleeping bags. You know what, Hobby Bear? I said. What? He asked. I think one day I'll take you to St. Louis one day with Goo, Felicity, and Bello, and we can both explore together with you. Really? He, a he said. That would be awesome. Okay, everybody, lights out. Oh, wait, here's your pills, Ayla, said Gumby. Thank you, I said. Okay, then, good night, everyone, he said. Good night, we all say as he turns out the light.